Here's a quick and easy strategy that will make your articles unique enough to pass content duplication tests. The following best spinner features will be used. Auto-select synonyms, remove original word, and copyscape. Although I'll focus on copyscape in this video, please note that you can also use the free TBS checker to perform duplication tests. To demonstrate this strategy, I've opened an unspun article that will not pass Copyscape as it is already published on the Internet. I go to Spun Article to run my duplication test. I click on Copyscape to launch the test, and as expected, it shows that duplicates have been found. To create my unique Duplication Safe article, I return to the Article Editor tab and I click on Auto-Select Synonyms. Now, if we understand how Copyscape works, we can spin our articles in such a way that will meet Copyscape's uniqueness criteria. Copyscape checks four word segments to determine uniqueness. If it finds the same four words in another content somewhere on the internet, it will consider that segment as not unique. In our article, it will go and check every fourth word, checking this word, and then this word, and so on. So, theoretically, as long as every fourth word in our article is completely unique, it will pass Copyscape. And if we pass Copyscape, it is very likely that search engines will also consider our article as unique. This assumption is based on the fact that a four-word combination is statistically more prone to be unique, both in terms of author and content, than a three-word, two-word, or one-word segment. It is for this reason that Copyscape, and most likely the search engines, will only flag duplication on four-word phrase matches. So our strategy rests on changing every fourth word or better, and we can do this automatically with the auto-select synonyms frequency option. To be on the safe side, however, I recommend setting the frequency to every second word and phrase. The reason is that if the best spinner has identified a lot of phrase synonyms, and some of these phrases are made up of three or four words, then setting the frequency to 4 will result in the best spinner counting these long phrases as one word and move forward two more words before creating its spin. As a result, our article may not pass Copyscape. And we will set the auto-select option to words and phrases. I now hit auto-select to launch the operation. We now have every second word and phrase changed by the best spinner. But this by itself does not guarantee our article will pass Copyscape. Included in our new spin tax is the original word. So there may be some spins where it will remain, thereby creating instances where not every second word and phrase will be unique. To avoid this situation, we can remove all original words from our spins in just one click. Now we should be good to go. Let's confirm that by running Copyscape. As expected, our article has passed the test. In just a few clicks, we have produced unique articles that pass duplication tests, and in all likelihood, that will also be considered unique by the search engines.